How we doing guys? Welcome back. So, continuing on from where we were, we have a Reaper fight coming up. Last time we did do a boarding action, that went pretty well, but that was running with a whole bunch of really good characters and just stun bombing everything, so not really a challenge in the way of things. We now have Red Reaper. Now, my plan is with this one, just to see how much I can get away with with Armor Pierce. I don't actually know, because they did patch up the war dogs so that armor pierce wouldn't work i maybe assume they might have done that here but it would be a bit weird because i definitely know people were doing it with castell and crow at least on the lower difficulties of just armor piercing that way so we'll see how it goes it could be like the purple boss where they've done a change and also broken the boss at the same time who knows uh but anyway so moving on we are just gonna go straight in the team i'm gonna take is gonna be a bit weird you are quite sure that thing is what we seek? Cruciatus the Generous, yes. I cannot guess how the Reaper claimed such a body, but the stench of its prime seed is unmistakable. Affirmation. These blasphemies of the revered machine are well known. Even our sanctified weapons will struggle to pierce the armor of a Chaos Knight. Abomination. We must destroy this insult to the Omnissiah. Commander. Our mission is clear. We will crush the heretic knight and wrest the prime seed from its remains. Wood, wood. Right. Anyway, so team I'm going to go with here is going to be a little odd because it's going to involve a bit of experimenting. So first things first, don't need the purgators. Sorry, the purifiers because they don't have anything that's armor piercing in their current setup. So one of them is going to be swapped out for the calendars. If you're going for armor pierce, why not bring this? It, it's not even a joke. Like, literally, this is the most armor piercing thing they could have possibly put into the game. Uh, second thing we're going for is a chaplain. I'm going to bring this guy. I could bring our lower level chaplain, but this guy is geared correctly in terms of buffing other people, so we'll go with this. Um, next thing along, we are going to keep the purgator. Uh, this is, is this the correct purgator. I think so, because what we're going to do is actually give him a Storm Bolter with Armor Pierce. This is going to seem very weird. But since we don't need the disruption, I'm actually going to go along with that. And then he can also come in with, I guess, just any weapon. We do have these. Which we are going to upgrade and give probably to the chaplain, but I don't think the purgator needs that wouldn't make any sense. So probably just going to come in with some standard weapon. It, it, it really shouldn't matter. Maybe that one. Or do I give that one to a... I might be... I'm slightly worried if there is armor pierce block, in which case I'll probably go... Yeah, give him this. This is fine. Go back to the chaplain. I do need to sort grenades and gear and stuff out. I think she's as well um, geared as possible. The chaplain is going to need decent armor. I don't think it overly matters. Focus would be good, though. Just for procs. Do I go in with an apothecary? Oh, apothecary might be good, actually, here. As the final follow-up? It's not what I had intended initially, so maybe we give him this. And we can upgrade this just because the armor's going to be important either way, because we're going to end up using this armor. How much purple do we have? Decent amount, we can use that. Um, we are running out of yellow, so I do have to be careful how many of those upgrades I use. The equipment slot's just going to be for more crit. Probably that one's better. Don't need the grenade, so that can come in with this. Do I care about the focus shard? What are you procking with the focus shard? Do you have crit? You have crit resets, right? In your tree? Yeah, 50% on ranged and then 50% on melee. So the focus shard is doing something, so we'll bring that. Um, do we have another Storm Bolter that does armor pierce? This is kind of on the fly, I know, but 
Precision targeting wouldn't be bad. Take a li limb off it. We do have another armor piercing one. Bringing that along. Just so that one shot he gets off at range does stack with the armor piercing we're doing all over the place. Then bring in the armor piercing falchions. We have plenty of this. Do we need this? Probably. Is spending a lot of our yellow and we aren't going to get yellow back, but details, details. Um, the reason the purgator gets the higher upgrade, he did one by the way, is just because he's going to be doing that more often. And then this chaplain, who do we want to bring in as the final one? The apothecary? Just looking for another armor piercing option. I don't think any of these guys have armor pierce, although admittedly, you could be a big nuke towards the end, that'd be funny. The Vindicare is an interesting option. But again, as far as I'm aware, he doesn't have an armor pierce option. And that's kind of what I'm after. So maybe you bring us a support character and go along those lines. Because bringing him in with this so you can get all these buffs off and get the resets. Yeah, I don't... I don't see a better option here. Do we have another weapon that does armor piercing? That is a good question. Certainly not there. I guess would it... Okay, we might keep this guy as a support then. I want to let all the armor piercing do the job, assuming it works. I haven't tested this yet, so it could all go down the <laughs> tube very quickly. But at least for the moment, I think that's all the armor pierce I can get. So have him bring in this. Just as a follow-up in case he needs it. Don't really need the extracto skull, so that can be the disrupto skull. Which I have to swap out first, because it doesn't let you swap things over easily. And then you can probably come in with the Focus Crystal. That you're primarily going to be support. And then the Disrupto Skull. We have a lot of Disruption Skulls. So we could probably do a lot of damage with Armor Pierce with that. But as I said, not tested this yet on anything. So this could work great. It could all go down the tube very quickly. That that That's all I can say on that front. Uh, so you're done... We gave you... Did we give you up? Do you have armor for this build out? What armor do you have? AP movement's good. I don't think... Do we have... We'd be able to put crit in... That would let us put more crit in. Is that worth the extra AP? Probably. One of the few times I'll ever put this on a Purgator. So I don't know if we've got all the equipment. We have this and we... Oh yeah, we have both. That's good. Those are the two we need. So that one and then this one. And then you have a Storm Bolter that's ideally going to be hitting for 12 armor... Pi well, 14 armor piercing when you consider Cybolt. That's going to be huge. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be absurd. Um, yeah, so you don't really change anything, do you? I can't make... You don't crit, so you can't do that stuff. Autoloader might be important. Servo skull slots don't do anything because Disruptor's already in there. You're just a buff. You have both litanies, don't you? Yeah, this is going to be the main litany. Could do this. But I don't think we need the extra crit. And then your support. Do I want you as support? Would it be better to bring the Vindicare as support? Possibly. Because I think he has better... I need to have a look at the Vindicare. Um, Vindicare. What options do you have? This is something I haven't questioned yet. So you don't have armor pierce, if I remember correctly, anywhere. No. But you do have this, which would be interesting. Nah, stick with what we got. So bring the apothecary back out. We'll just buff up the um, the chaplain. Let him do the work. So trying to do this without a just a car and with a storm bolt for apothecary. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, do need to sort these out. So this is needed. This is needed. This is needed. 
or at least they'll all benefit from it. This one doesn't have an implication, or at least not a relevant. I mean, I could drop three stuns on his head. I don't think that's worth doing. Is it worth doing? Is it worth doing this? Or this? Just because we could do this three times on a night, make him have a ton of AP, and then he'll run out of willpower if we keep doing it. Eh, sure, why not? Why not? We're experimenting here, so we'll see how this goes. We'll have that as a backup if we need it. Um, and let's get this started. I wonder if there's a armor piercing silencer because that would have been the other thing like in terms of ways to make this particular fight slash build work better definitely more armor piercing weapons we have two storm bolters but that's it um and obviously the falchions on the chaplain but i'd love to have like an armor piercing hammer or armor piercing silencer i don't think armor piercing incinerator exists that would be very weird and overpowered as hell it's basically what the Calidus has. And we've all seen how that does in late game scenarios. Bunch of Terminators turn up. Oh, they're all dead. Good job. Good job on balance. Right, let's get this started. Lo, I sense a putrid decay in the warp. Knights of Titan, I, Cruciatus, am known to my cohort as the Shepherd. For it is through my will that the healing gift of pain should be shared in the Grandfather's name. <laughs> it is a noble goal, is it not? Brothers, do not deign to answer his blasphemy. Our duty is not to bandy in words. Will you not parley? Introduce yourselves. Night classification. Desecrator, its firepower is beyond. Beyond our capabilities, Commander. I recommend we reconsider our approach and... Retreat? <laughs> I thought your type knew no fear. An empty platitude it would seem. Warp surge. Interferences. <laughs> Retreat would be dishonorable. Besides... I have long awaited the day when I might truly be challenged. Come at me, Knights of the Titan. I promise your end will not be swift. Alrighty, so, first things first. Remember we have resets of these, and they only work on the first um, stratagem you use. So therefore, we're going to essentially spam these first. I, I'm debating between the Chaplain and the Purgator. I think the Purgator ends up doing more damage, but needs to reload, which is an interesting twist. Uh, first things first, let's test if this idea has any merit, actually. So, 83 health, is he immune to armor pierce? No. As far as I can tell, there is nothing there that says he's immune to armor pierce. Do you have to... Um, essentially disrupt him just to turn all this stuff off. So, I'm tempted just to show off a different entire stratagem. Dump this all on the Purgator. And we'll just shoot him to death. And I don't know how well this is going to work in the long run. Uh, this may backfire. But, honestly, it's fun. So give one knight an absolute ton of AP, just to burn all the reuses before we do anything. Then, but pop the crit. Doesn't affect the Calidus, remember. She's here as a last resort in case I need it. I'm actually going to try and get the Purgator to kill him with a Storm Bolter, just because that would be funny. Uh, right. Then we need to teleport so we're in melee range with him. I'd say that's pretty close. 
Um, yes, Commander. So you're there. We do need to disrupt him. Thankfully, that's what we brought this along for. Normally, this would have been done by the purgatory with a silencer, but this works just as well. Now, none of these buffs really matter. Yours do. So where's your crit one? That one. And now let's see how much damage a purgator alone can do. Do need to worry about reload. That's what she's here for. So hop to there. So now she's in range to do auto loading if required. And how much health do we have to go through? 77. I think she's just dead. As you come on. Yeah, that did 17. Or is it 80? It might even be 80. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> oh, that is broken as hell. I'm so glad I did this. He's actually got five shots as well because he's got so much ammo in it. I don't understand how that's supposed to help, by the way. Ripping your face off is just like, oh, well now you have even less armor. Is he dead before I even have to reload? I didn't think it would be this <laughs> Because he would have reloaded and done it again, meaning he had probably another 90 damage the in the tank. Is lifting. It is done. Operational control restored. This is an impressive victory. The halls of Titan will echo with the deed of those brothers who bested a Chaos Knight single-handed. Single-handed, Hector. No matter. Such festivities can wait. We must extract the Prime Seed and continue the hunt. I mean, they moan, but that was single-handed. That was just one storm bolter. <laughs> it didn't even have to reload. <laughs> oh, that—that that is the thing with the Reapers, though. The Reapers, if you know what their stuff is, they just fall over. It's—I I do wish they would go back and do a retuning on them. I know that some of them probably don't need it as much as others. Blue certainly doesn't need it as much as Red does. Purple needs his regen fixed because as we saw, that doesn't work. Green is supposed to be the easiest one, so I can give them on that front, but I like that <laughs> Just a Storm Bolter just doing stupid amounts of damage. I might just bring a Purgator now with a pure, um, with a Silencer, maybe the Anti-Demon Silencer, and just see what that does in terms of raw damage, because that would be insane. But anyway, there we go. <laughs> the setup at the beginning was much longer than the actual kill attempt because reasons, but that, that that's what happens when you actually, you know, get a setup that works. It's like many games, it's like you spend half an hour setting it up and then ten minutes later you're all done. If that. Alrighty, so nine seeds. I'm not expecting much from the rewards. S gain HP, not relevant. That one's okay. I'd rather have knights though. This is the uh, it's crit extra range. It's not great. Never ever found a use for these. Still not. I know people are there like, oh, it's really good to have. No, <laughs> no. They're still. It's just better to have a better weapon than them. Um. We have 14 available, but I might just start recruiting people. So I'll keep the requisition and try and get a full thing by the end of the campaign. Everyone was maxed out. Ironically, I brought the uh, lead apothecary, but I don't think it mattered. Cinematic, because we killed the Reaper, but as I've said on previous attempts, we're going to skip these because... We've all seen them a hundred times at this point. It's nothing new. If you want to go see them again, look it up.
There's tons of videos out there. But anyway, that was more successful than I could have hoped. We do have to choose between these next two, but that's something I'm going to leave till next time. Uh, and I'll leave it here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.